action. And yes, this is a case study. Right, so uh, I present briefly myself. I'm Patrick Talasega. I'm an assistant professor at the Free University of Bolzano in Italy. Right. Right, in this presentation, I will use this structure. So first I give you an introduction to our research, then I describe little, uh, briefly the research methodology, then I will describe the case study application. Afterwards, a uh, short discussion where I show the SWOT analysis performed, and then conclusion and outlook. Right, so let's start with the introduction. So MAP or mechanical, electrical and plumbing um, plays a crucial role in civil construction projects. And here we have traditionally some kind of waste and these waste are not updated design information and communication problems. And therefore we used now augmented reality in combination with building information modeling. Um, yes, um, that are so-called emerging technologies uh, to support construction works by providing information in real time on demand and location based. So um, in other words, we tried to bring out the BIM technology from the technical office also to the field by using augmented reality. And augmented reality has been mainly applied in sectors like logistics, aeronautics, and the automotive industry. And um, yes, according to our literature review, um, yes, limited application in the construction industry can be, um, yes, can be stated. And especially limited application in a, in a way of empirical validations on the construction side. And by using a multi-story apartment building project, we compare the performance of conventional map practices and with the support of these practices with augmented reality. And at the end, we summarize the results in a SWOT analysis. So strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Right, so let's see a little bit the research methodology. So in our research, we followed the case study research method. And here specifically, we followed three steps. So the first step, study design. Um, so we selected an appropriate case study. Then uh, we, de uh, we defined the tasks of marking on-site to be supported with augmented reality. And the tasks for marking on-site were for installation of heating, ventilation, and sanitation, as well as electrical tubes. And as equipment, we used, as you see here on the left side, the Trimble XR10 helmet that integrates the Microsoft Tolerance second generation and as an application inside the HoloLens or just yes, to use augmented reality uh, in combination with BIM, we use the application BIM HoloView. Right, and here in the middle, you see um, the testing where the foreman on site um, used augmented reality to mark the floor heating system. Right, and second step, data gathering. Um, the participants were four foremen and the MAP company's BIM coordinator. So we had five participants from the case study company. Um, performance data su such as time and accuracy were gathered for direct observations. So we researchers, we went on site and we gathered this information uh, time and accuracy by direct observation. Um, time was measured by deducting the start of the operation from the end of the operation. So we did video recording and afterwards we took out cycle time of every operation. And the accuracy of the marking works was checked with the dimensions in the BIM model. And here we, <coughs> we measured the deviations according to the X and Y axis, but not according to the Z axis, the height, because the BIM model was not modeled appropriately. And then data analysis, um, yes, we compared the augmented reality support for marking works with the conventional ma marking method. Um, we uh, calculated average accuracy per task and per location, per specific construction locations. And afterwards we summarized the case study results in a SWOT analysis. Right, so this was a brief introduction of the research methodology. And now we see in detail the case study application. Right, so this was our case study project. So a small multi-apartment uh, building with five apartments. Yes, the location in Northern Italy. And yes, here we have the reasons for the case study selection. First, a manageable size, and then 
um, we selected specifically this case study because on the ground floor, we have two apartments that are very similar with apartments on the first floor. And therefore we said, okay, let's construct a ground floor with augmented reality support and the first floor conventional, and then let's compare the different indicators. And here again, yes, we, um, <clears throat> we supported um, these tasks with augmented reality. So first heating, ventilation and sanitation tubes, HVS, then underfloor heating, UFH, and then electrical pipes. And the period was from June 2020 until September 2020. Right here you see um, the support of marking the slots for heating, air conditioning and sanitary, as well as electrical lines. Uh, on the left side, you see what the foreman sees in the in the Hololens. In the yes, by using the helmet Trimble XR10, and on the right side, you see how he marks um, yes the the slots that need to be opened to place and the pipes in the building. Um, to georeference the BIM model, we used um, yes QR, uh, these QR markers, um, and so. Georeferencing does not require specific training for the foreman. And um, yes, we measured uh, the foreman needs approximately 50 seconds to georeference the BIM model by using two markers. Right here we say we see marking the modules for laying the underfloor heating system. And here we have also a video. In the video, you see what the foreman sees. So here are different underfloor heating modules. Um, <clears throat> and yes. Um, one um, potential risk that we investigated is here, um, yes, um, tripping. You see here this cable that appears. And so if the foreman or if the user focuses too much on the augmented reality hologram, then um, this could create work safety risks. And here you see the foreman marks now where the floor heating system should be placed um, in, in a kitchen. Right, and then here we see another um, support installation of the plant room with uh, augmented reality support. We have also a video. And here we see the color coding of the pipes. Um, flow equals to red color and return to the blue color. And this was, um, yes, used for early identification of planning or execution errors. As you see here, the hole in the, in the wall was not placed correctly. And so we could avoid, um, yes, to re um, refabricate the pipes on site. Right, and here you see the, um, the results, the time efforts compared to the conventional marking approach. And you see here we had drastic time reductions up to 84%. Um, right, um, and especially in complex rooms like bathrooms, um, time savings are more or, or the time savings were higher. Right, and the results were then summarized in this SWOT analysis. So the strengths are time savings on site, of course, then fast and intuitive training of new employees, easy detection of design and execution errors, decreased cognitive load for the foreman on site, and affordable initial purchase of this augmented reality head mounted display. Then the weaknesses are required accuracy may not be enough to support construction activities. Um, we measured accuracy levels between three centimeters and eight centimeters. So maybe not for all construction tasks, this accuracy is enough. Uncomfortable to wear for a long time. The helmet is quite heavy, so it's not comfortable to wear it um, for the whole working day. Software application costs are not neg negligible and the georeferencing on site is difficult without markers. So we used the application that uses markers. Other applications that do do not use markers for this, the jury referencing is very difficult to be performed for the specific foreman on site. Then opportunities, higher efficiency and faster on site execution, reduced workload for employees on site, early use of technologies with high future potential, and the digitization of the entire value chain. And then the risks, the threats, work safety risks during concentrated work on site, required know how to set up the Augmented reality head mounted display, high risk of damaging the head mounted display on site, 
and technology change through scaling could make early investments in augmented reality redundant. So these were a little bit the outcomes of our case study. Right, this, this leads me to the conclusion. Um, yes, so we did here an empirical validation of the usage of augmented reality head mounted display to support marking works for map installations on site. Um, we registered drastic reductions of execution times, also reduced training effort needed to understand the usage of the equipment was also recorded. And yes, uh, risks for work accident risks were registered and future research directions should distinguish deviations induced by human operator as well as technology when measuring accuracy levels of the augmented reality head mounted display. So here um, in our case study, we measured just the deviations, but in future research, deviations, these deviations should be analyzed in detail uh, to understand deviations that are caused by the human operator itself, as well as the technology. And further empirical validations of augmented reality should be performed in the construction domain. Right, so this brings me to the conclusion of my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have questions, I, I will be glad to answer them. Thank you, Patrick. It was <clears throat> just in